Hey there, konnichiwa. I am going to be showing you a full-fledged tour of my apartment. You might have seen it before in my previous videos, but this is going to be the first time that I'm really giving you an in-depth look on how it's like living in Japan, at least for a foreigner like myself. Before we check out my apartment, please go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would love to have your support since I am a growing channel and constantly trying to improve my work with each new video. Also, if you don't know why I'm living in Japan, please check out my Living in Japan video series in the description box below. So if you were to approach my apartment, this is the first thing you would see. You actually wouldn't see the entrance that's behind. Uh, what you see first are the windows and you can see my little car right there. It's the only one. Now, when you get an apartment like this, you have only one spot that you have to park in at all times. And I have parking spot three. So if I'm not in three, then I would get in big trouble. And besides that, we also have the little um, garbage disposal. That's where you throw away all your garbage. You know, right now. Yep, nice and easy and the garbage people come pick it up. I don't know who put that broom there, but it wasn't me. Just not going to mess with that. This apartment is called Leo Place 21 and is a common place to live in as a foreigner. So if you're interested in living here, take note. This might be in your future. My apartment looks just like this. And I was placed in apartment 103 or 103, however you want to call it. I say 103. I'm on the first floor. There are two floors to this apartment, so I'm on the first floor and this guy over here is on the second floor, so he owns those two windows. Uh, right here is a camera, so if someone were to ring my doorbell, you would see who it is on the other end. Anyway, turn it and open. Now before you do anything, the first thing you're supposed to do is take off your shoes because you don't want any footprints along the floor. And then you're faced with this closet and sometimes I forget about the closet but this is perfect for any random stuff that you can't fit in your bigger closet. Next is the best part of the whole place, the mini fridge and microwave. Those come with the apartment, but this right here is a mini oven that I bought all on my own. This has been a lifesaver for many cold meals. Let's take a quick look into the freezer. In the back you have a small ice tray set, and here is a bag of apple mango. This is very delicious and I highly recommend. And to the side of that, you have some spaghetti with salmon and spinach. Forgive me for not having my fridge stocked with loads of food to show off. I'm at that period where I have more condiments and actual meals to try, but <laughs> haven't we all been there? We are going to make a left turn towards the washing machine. That brown door is to the restroom and to your right is the washroom, which we will see in a moment. But first... In Japan, you don't have dryers, only washers. So you have one washing machine in your apartment and it is up to you to decide how you want to dry your clothes. I prefer having this larger hanger that I can place outside of my house or in my washroom. to the washroom which is the most unique way of getting clean you open this folding door first to get in and you will see a tub a sink and the shower head 
along with a drain along the tile floor. That means you can get water on the floor and have it be cleared out. So if you're deciding to take a bath in the tub, what you would do is you would take this little plug and put it in the little hole inside of the tub as it fills with water. But what if I want to brush my teeth? Then, boop, just turn the faucet to the other side. Next we have the kitchen. And this is as good as it gets for the kitchen. I don't know what you got. You got this little space, got the sink, and your electric stove. So power, you do front, and you can choose your intensity, so high, and watch it glow. Yep. You got a little upper cabinet here, open. Get my plate, my bowl, cups, my utensils are right here. You have more space for your food. And on top, your pans. This is the futon that I lay on every single night. It's more comfortable than it looks. And this is my closet where I keep all of my clothes and my other luggage bags. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's very brief, but I think informative if you're ever interested in coming to this country and potentially living here. It's very quiet and peaceful. The walls are kind of thin, so sometimes I hear other people's conversations at night, but they're really not rude neighbors at all. They're just doing their own thing and I'm doing mine. Again, I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more and I hope to see you soon.